typically volume loss of fat uh, occurs uh, in areas like the temple and the cheeks. Uh, most, those are the most common identifiable areas where we see a lot of these uh, volume losses. It typically occurs in the later 40s and 50s, uh, but again, it's very patient dependent when that specific timing is. For that reason, fat grafting procedures have been adopted to tend to uh, promote the addition of fat cells back into these areas where there has been fat loss and have been shown to uh, promote or establish uh, long-standing fat survival in those areas. Typical areas of treatment would be, again, the temples, the cheeks, areas of the smile lines or nasolabial folds, the marionette lines down near the jaw, areas of the chin, uh, and even areas around the eyes to add additional volume, which is a bit of a, a change in how we approach blepharoplasty uh, in the last decade or so. Another area where fat grafting can be beneficial but not necessarily face-related is in the backs of the hands, which is one of the hallmarks of age. Those sort of thin, skeletonized, tendony-looking hands can be dramatically improved with some fat grafting.